purpose of the mission is to convert its natives into productive Catholic Spanish subjects. Hi, we're at the Presidio de San Saba here in Menard, Texas. It was built in 1757 to protect the Franciscan missionaries. 300 soldiers and their families arrived to prospect. Uh, the poor missionaries built their stockade, their little mission to Christianize the Indians about four miles away. 2,000 Indians attacked them, killed at least two of the missionaries, and beheaded one of them right at the altar. Um, let's take a look at it. So right over here at the entrance, we have two original stones, and one of those stones has uh, Jim Bowie's name in it. He was here in 1831 looking for treasure, right here. And uh, his companions, it's believed, carved his name in there. Sadly, four years from now, he goes on to die at the Alamo along the side of the likes of Davy Crockett and become a folk hero. He's also well known for the Bowie knife. He carried a big old knife with him and was a formidable knife fighter, and this knife has been named after him ever since. So if you can imagine 300 people crammed into 50 rooms with all their cattle, prospecting equipment, and going about their daily lives and a few skirmishes with the Indians, hope they drop something in the river. I mean, this is like going to Europe without having to go to Europe to see some impressive structure like this, so. We can't dig here, but we can drag a magnet there, and that's what we'll do. Let's get some booty. The only thing that concerns me is the snakes dropping off of these trees into your boat. All right, we hooked onto something. See if you can break it off there. Just scoot it off. You got gloves on. I don't have no gloves. There you go. There you go. It's got little. I don't know what it is. If you know what it is, just send us a message and send us a message and let us know what it is. I tell you what, I hate me some snake. Just that one snake. I hate that one snake. So the rare earth magnet we're using is a neodymium magnet composed of uh, iron and boron. It's melted together in a crystalline structure to form a, I mean, a great holding power. This one here, 500 pound pool. Uh, it costs about 50 bucks and uh, get some Loctite because you don't want to lose it when it unscrews itself. We've already lost one. All right, we got something else here. What is that? Looks like a bucket handle. I didn't know there was so many bucket handles, but it, it's a creamery bucket handle. It had a wood uh, handle on top of the flat area, and it was pretty old. All right, we've been out in this hot sun for about three hours without catching anything, and now we finally got something. We worked it off the bottom with this it magnet. We don't know what it is, but it's loose. Oh, it's heavy. And it's heavy. Come on, be something good. <laughs> Oh, what do we got? Oh, it's a chair. We got an iron chair. Stinks. We took that stinky chair. It's a Haywood Wakefield children's chair from the 1940s. With the wood on it, about a hundred bucks. It's a wire brush used to clean concrete. Interestingly enough, it can be traced back all the way to the Romans where they used them to clean tiles. So I believe this to be a Model T Ford part. Uh, in the past, with a metal detector, like four foot and a bank, uh, in the dark, she found the whole hood of this Model T Ford, and she would not stop digging until she found out that it wasn't a chest of gold. Well, it wasn't in the dark when we started. Yeah. It's been a long day. Going to end it on a good sunset. Tomorrow, we'll head over to where the Franciscan missionaries had their mission. We'll metal detect the river there, and then we'll head over to where Jim Bowie um, stayed overnight in 1831 or so when he was there looking for treasure. So we'll see if we can find something historically significant. And the other mission that actually burnt down that the Indians sacked back in the 1700s is back there. It's in a farmer's field now. But this river still ran through here and people still utilized it um, for hundreds of years after that. So let's see what we can find and let's get cooled off because I am hot. 56 one way and 76 the other way. So. Oh, here it is. Oh, a whole bullet. That's pretty cool.
we go on to find two bullets. She just entered the water. I sat down to adjust my shoe. This definitely looks like it's old because that looks, I don't know. This is a glazed see. pot, right? I'm keeping it. Unlike that stinking chair, this was an excellent find. Turns out it was a Spanish olive jar. It is related to the mission, and the missionaries would have carried it with them from Spain. We know James Bowie carved his name on the front of the fort in 1831, and this specific area right here that I'm in, somewhere in the vicinity, uh, James Bowie and his companions were attacked by about 130 Indians. Uh, they held them off overnight, uh, killed 80 of those uh, brave Indians, and there is an area here we can do on the side of the road, and uh, it's completely legal and we're not behind any fences, so let's find some booty. Four inches at 84. There's a lot of there are insulators. That's oh. an old bottle. Yeah. That's probably oh, sorry. the lid. It's probably older. Uh, so it's just, I chunked it out of there. I didn't go down 10 inches though. Is it giving me the right number? 70 now. Okay. Oh, here it is. That's it. It's a bullet. Uh -huh. And it's not an old bullet either. Really? Nope. Down that hole. Yep, down that All hole. Alright, darn it. I thought it was going to be something cool. So. 58. Four inches is what I said. Digging. So here's what you found. It looks like a chain. Hmm. Or, but it's really thick chains. So, see how the dirt in between okay. them? Let's oh, that. sure That is. is definitely an old piece. They don't make them like that anymore. I see this big long shaft. Well, that's the long I thought the chain came off of a wagon, but more than likely it come off of an ox cart. So that would place it around 1830 or even earlier. I don't know, but it's unusual. You know how they have a locks now where it has a little... Look at that rock finger. that got stuck in between it. Stomped in there. That is an old piece. Yay! <laughs> Good job. So this is in the 30s. Four inches. Look to the sides. I guess. Oh, right there, there it is. Yeah. Is that a stirrup? It no. is. No. No. Oh well. I think it is. No, oh, my foot wouldn't fit in it. Could no. That... No, it's something else. It's got. Well, it's got a. I don't know. This one doesn't look so old. This is something else. It's is a new. It an old show? Well, it's. Made of copper. Okay. Let's see. No, they wouldn't have had these bullets in 1831. Damn. So it's old, but it's not that air. So let's keep looking. Right in there. That's a 70, 75. I don't know. Six inches is a lot deeper when you're digging it. In between rocks, right there. Oh, there's maybe. There it is. It's a uh, horseshoe. Horseshoe. Right there. A horseshoe. That's it. Grab it with right We break it. The first broken one. Did there you break you go. it? No, no. Hot shoeing is a method by where the blacksmith would forge the horseshoe right then and there and place it on the horse's hoof. By 1835, a patent was introduced and they could make 60 of them an hour in a machine. Still in there? Okay, you want the other half? Oh, there's another piece of metal in here. Oh. Okay. So, look at that thing. Good enough. Let's see. That looks like a spring to a... Buckler? Yeah. Traveling was already hard enough in those days. Especially with a broken springboard. Okay. Like the end piece, maybe? I don't know. But they would be going through this a lot, through this uh, yeah. creek right here. Well, that's pretty cool. Those are definitely old right there. Finally, we found one old bullet right here. <laughs> but it still doesn't go back to 1831. How do you know? 
because it don't but this is definitely old so I'm happy to find that um, I would suggest coming to uh, Menard Texas and seeing the uh, Presidio stay tuned for scenes from our next upcoming show hit like and subscribe below till next time keep on digging I'm still working that edge where all that stuff gets caught. Every time we turn it off, we find something cool.